you know, I was on a I was on a call with Ishan and he was like, um, you're like the best person to bounce ideas off of. And I'm like, man, that's such a great compliment. Like, this is the thing. There's a lot of compliments that people give that are like obligatory, that are like, oh, your hair is so nice, whatever. But like when people say things like that, it, it's really natural. And it's just like them just saying these things. And they're not thinking about like, oh, I want to compliment this person. It's like butter them up, whatever. But when it comes across, like when, when these moments happen and you're like, oh, that can be interpreted as a compliment. That's when you know it's real. And those are like really, really great compliments. And speaking of compliments, I wanted to like, I had so many videos. I wanted to pull up like this Emperor Lemon video that I wanted to like, go like, hey, look at these great, or like this Joe Rogan episode. Obviously it's gone. Um, I think that was some like, that might have, I don't even remember which one this was, but, uh, or there was, I mean, this one, this one deserves the most compliments of them all. And see, it was, a copyright claim to the low tier god. I don't know why he copyright claimed this video. It was a great video. If I remember correctly, this was the one that was like, it was titled like, can I play a game? And if you've seen that video, then you've seen that video. I'm not even going to describe what happened in it, but it was a great video. I don't know why he copyrighted it. But yeah, here is like the whole, like the conglomerates. Um, I think it's like CGP Grey actually. That's like the core of the conglomerate. Like this is the channel that runs all the rest of these channels. If you look into it, you'll realize that all these channels are like actually owned by like the same group or like the same one person or two people or whatever. And they do all this stuff, which blows my mind because like if you're going to make YouTube conglomerate, like I thought you would make it easy on yourself, you know, you'd do some like copyright free music idea or something like that or some meditation channel or something. If you're going to, if you want to have like cash cow channels, but these like take a lot of research, you know, that's why I'm surprised that this was their 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 go-to strategy i mean if they have good writers and they figured out the code then i don't it seems like a no-brainer to go for something like this because it's very easy to make high quality videos that have the like a high likelihood of going viral so it, it makes sense um but yeah that maybe this is like the the passion channel and then they figured out the formula with this one they implemented it with the rest because the real like crux of this is the ideas I don't know if they're getting ideas from the comments or whatever, because how the hell they're able to think of all these ideas of like these little mundane things that are like kind of interesting, but not interesting enough for people to actually like for it to be like super mainstream, but they're just interesting enough for if you make a good title and thumbnail, like half as interesting, you make a good title and thumbnail, why photos of the Eiffel Tower at night are illegal, even though there's so many of them. And in that like recent recent Quadeca video he was re literally recording the Eiffel Tower at night so I mean I don't if it, whether he was there or not is like up in the air but I think he, it looked like he was there I don't think he'd do CGI for that you know like that intense but yeah um what the hell was I talking about